Hey everybody, before we get into the meat of this video, I need to go ahead and post a disclaimer. Uh, the techniques shown in this video are not for normal fighting circumstances. Uh, please, only use these techniques if you feel your life is in actual danger and you need to escape. These are violent, dangerous, and potentially fatal uh, techniques for self-defense. But as you girls know, some men are monsters. And when a monster comes at you, it's better to be prepared and not need to know what you know than it is to be unprepared and be taken by surprise. So, we're going to begin this video, which is going to be how to prevent an attacker from taking you down, taking you out. Hopefully this will help prevent uh, sexual assault, kidnapping, murder, whatever nasty shit people come up with. Uh, I just want my daughter to know a few things to smash a fucking man that's dumb enough to mess with her. Now, let's get right to it. So, when you're being attacked by a man, there are certain targets that are considered soft targets. A soft target is a target that does not take a lot of pressure to cause a lot of damage. If you hit a soft target hard enough, then the person attacking you is going to, without them even wanting to, be hit by the fight or flight reflex. This is what you want when a man attacks you. You want to activate his fight or flight reflex. You want him to think that he is in mortal danger. And with these techniques, hell, he kind of is. So, let's talk about the soft targets on a man. The first thing you don't want to do is go straight for the face. The majority of the face is a hard target. We're, men are used to being punched in the face most of their lives, with the exception of their eyes. Eyes are a soft target. The throat, right here, is a soft target. If you take a man and you smash his throat, or if you do the claw, I'm going to show my daughter shortly, the man's going to be unable to breathe. It's going to hurt him to swallow. And if you hit the bastard hard enough, he's going to have trouble eating for a good month. The Adam's apple shows that we're a man. It's also a point of weakness. It's a soft target. For the solar plexus area, that's a soft target, but it's not going to be one we're training to fight against today. Normally, the solar plexus needs to be hit very hard by something very hard to do enough damage to make a man stop and be unable to breathe. So we won't be touching on that one today. Now, the final soft target we're going to be talking about today is one you all know and love, the groin. A man's testicles can be burst. They can be destroyed by a foot, by a hand, by a fist. Hell, if he puts you in the position, by your teeth. Rip it off. Okay? Those are the three soft targets we're going to be talking about today. The groin, the throat, and the eyes. First and foremost, Alexis, come up, please. Most of you already know, this is my daughter, Alexis. These videos are being made for her to have some good reference to practice against and remember, but also for you ladies that may not know this stuff at home, find somebody willing to let you practice with them, don't hurt them, and make sure that you're safe because you'll feel a whole lot more confident walking down the street when you know if somebody comes from behind to attack you, you can take them down. 
With men, you only have an instant. You cannot, you cannot hesitate. If you hesitate, you're on the ground, you're in a van, you're pinned, and you're fucked. We don't want that. So, first and foremost, the groin. Every woman knows the perfect move to go against the groin. Alexis, what is the perfect move to go against the groin? You're on your knee or your foot. Your knee or your foot. Talk louder so they can hear you. No need to be shy. We're going to muscle up. Your knee or your foot? Yes. If you are face to face with your attacker, your knee or your foot work very well. You can come in, if they're grabbing a hold of you, grab them back, grab their shoulders, get to where you can bring your knee. And you don't just want a knee from here, you want to reach your leg all the way back. You want to grab your arms and everything and pull, and you want to come thrusting forward as hard as you can. If it doesn't take him down with a single strike, do it again. And when he's on the ground, kick him over and over in the testicle. Because if he's dumb enough to attack you, he's dumb enough and he doesn't deserve that little thing between his legs. Also, ways to attack the groin. With your fist, if you're down on your knees and you're huddled up, you're perfectly eye level to his groin. You can charge at him. A man is naturally programmed to defend his groin. If something comes at him, whatever he's doing, he's stopping. He's going to stop it. He don't want to get hit in the balls. It hurts. Aww. Now, let's move up to the throat. We're going to get into some actual techniques soon, but we're just going to talk about a few things first. The throat. How would you attack my throat? Uh, with a fist. With a fist. A fist is good. A fist can do a little damage. Your girl, your fist might not be that strong. What's another thing you can do? There you go. She's short. She wants to use a fist. That's okay. Something else you can do. Something that's fun and really fuck a man up is you take your hand and instead of a fist going at them, you open it up a little bit. You let this thumb hook the Adam's apple and you charge forward. Put your thumb here now on me. Not like that, like this. You want to make a claw. We're going to call this the fucking cock blocking claw right there, okay? Like that. You want to come at me hard and then you want to push through my body and rip to the side. Oh. Yeah, oh. That sounds like it hurts. It will hurt the fuck out of him and hopefully stop him from breathing long enough that you can escape. Now, if he's holding his throat, what is he not doing? Holding you. He's not holding you. You know what else he's not doing? He's not protecting his groin. So, double whammy, if he can't breathe, hit him in the balls so you have a better chance of running away. It'll slow him down. And if he's slower, then you have more time to get to safety. It's important that you get to safety. The point of these techniques is not just to hurt the man that's trying to hurt you. It's to provide you a window of opportunity with which you can escape. This is not a we're going to fight a man and whip him kind of situation. This is a we don't want to get fucking raped and taken situation. So, we do what we have to. Now, I'm sure, ladies, that you've been taught your whole life, don't hit a man in the balls. It's bad. It's dangerous. And I'm going to tell you, that's true for most circumstances. If it's a wrestling match, yelling match, whatever. 
If your life isn't in danger, you don't want to use these techniques. You can still knee a man in the balls. If he comes at a woman, he deserves it. But the throat thing, no. This is not for an argument or a light fight. This is for, I don't want to fucking die. Okay? Okay. Now, moving on up, the face for a guy is all padded. We've been punched and beat the fuck out of our whole lives. We like fighting. We're guys. But our eyes, no man can train his eyes to take a punch. Can't happen. All right? So you aim with that thumb again for the eye. If he has you down, you find a way to get your hands into the eye socket and you squeeze and you press and you blind the bastard and get the hell out of there. Okay? So, what do we do to the testicles? Kick or knee. Or Kick, punch if you're down. knee, punch if you're down there. That's three good things. What do we do to the throat? Um, punch or do the thumb thing claw. The thumb claw thing. Yeah. Claw. It's very important that when you do this, when you attack their throat, you don't do this shit half-assed. You cannot be scared of hurting your attacker. My daughter is naturally timid and shy, but she's also my daughter which means she can beat the fuck out of somebody if she needs to. That's what this is about. So, somebody comes at you, you go straight for them, and you tear into them and you rip to the side. You hold that thumb and you rip to the side. You rip to the side. You're not going to tear their flesh. You're just going to knock their Adam's apple out of whack. And if you knock their Adam's apple out of whack, they can't breathe right. It hurts to swallow. They're not going to eat right for a while, and maybe they'll think twice before attacking somebody again. Now, what do we do to the eyes? Thumbs and squeeze. Thumbs and squeeze. Yes, if you can't get there, take whatever you can get into the eyeballs and do it. If you have to punch, leave a little tip of your thumb out and punch, jab straight in the eye. It doesn't take a lot. And a man is going to guard his eyes like he's going to guard his balls. They're both round and circular. And we love all four of them. Man doesn't guard his throat that much, so you'll have an opportunity. Of course, all of these things are dependent on one thing. What are they dependent on, Alexis? No hesitation. No hesitation. That's important, but not the answer I'm looking for. How are you going to have the opportunity to do any of these things to me. If um, you're being raped or attacked or kidnapped. No. No, no, no. What? I have to be facing you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If a man is facing you, you can do these things. If a man is not facing you, you cannot do these particular things. Now, most of the time, and unfortunately, ladies, if you're being attacked, it's not a spontaneous, spur-of-the-moment thing. Unfortunately, these fucking predators, they will have watched you, your habit. They will have your patterns down to a science. They will know when you are at your most unguarded. So, the first thing you can do to help prevent ever being attacked is to make sure that you don't ever walk alone in a dark area. This is common sense. Also, make sure that you park your vehicle in a well-lit and also well-surveilled cameras. An enemy of the predator is cameras. If there are cameras everywhere, they're not going to be willing to risk coming and getting you. They're just not. They'll find another opportunity. So, your main objective is to make sure you never give them an easy opportunity. That cannot always be avoided. What about when you get home? You get out of your car in your own driveway where you should feel safe. 
Are there cameras? Maybe. Do they cover the driveway? Maybe. Are there a lot of people that can see you? Is it well lit? I don't know. But it is an easy place for you to get taken because of a few different variables. For one, you feel safe so they can sneak up on you. For two, if they take you, they can leave your car there and it doesn't draw suspicion. If they take you from Piggly Wiggly, Walmart, wherever, your car will eventually draw suspicion. When you come up missing, they'll start looking for it. Cops are going to check all the big parking lots first after they check your home. There it is, Walmart, done. They can check the cameras. But you want to make it as hard as possible for them to have an easy window of opportunity for them to attack you. If, however, they do attack you, they're probably not going to do it from the front. When they come to attack you, they're going to come from behind. Now, this is very important because a lot of them are going to have chloroform or a needle. If this shit happens, you have to be exceptionally fast and prepared. It is hard to be prepared all the time. But if somebody is sneaking up behind you, you're going to be apprehensive. I know it. Every woman is. It's the culture we live in. It's fucked up, but it's the way it is. If a man comes up from behind you and goes to grab you and put in here, the first thing you should do is what, Alexis? Kind of block. Well, block. One, two, three, you're out. Yep. That, work. that block does not work. Okay? What you need to do when someone comes around you is go limp. Drop down. Become dead weight. If you're dead weight, drop. I'm at a loss for a moment. During that moment, what did you have access to down there? You had access to my groin. Right. Attack the fuck out of it. Run the fuck away. You have to be quick. If you forget to drop, there are other things you can do. If a man's behind you and he doesn't have a rag full of chloroform, getting away from that rag will be your number one objective at first because that shit will take you out in just a few seconds. And a man can... He can generally force himself to hold a woman still for a few seconds. But if you know what to do, you can make those few seconds hell on him, hopefully make him give up and get to the fresh air on the other side of that rag. So if I come at you and I'm here, you can either A, drop. You can B, stomp the fuck out of my foot. Try to go so far and hard back that you ride down the shin and land on the foot. If you're wearing them high heels with the pointy bottoms, even better. Maybe you break his foot. But you want to make sure that he has trouble and can't just quickly get you into his van. You need to make sure that you have every opportunity to escape. So, you're going to come in. Boom. You're going to stomp me or drop. Stomp me. I don't want to hurt you. You're not going to hurt me. You're barefoot. I got shoes on. You didn't hurt me, but you can hurt someone. And I want you, when you stomp, to stomp as if your life depends on it because it fucking does. You have seconds here. Only seconds. And you have to be quick, and you have to be ready. Another thing you can do from that position is headbutt like a son of a bitch. Sling your head back. I'm taller than you. Now, have any of you out there that are mothers ever experienced the hell that is a toddler? What happens when a toddler is down here and jumps at you? It hurts really bad. Straight into the jaw. You know what happens when you take somebody's jaw away? They get dizzy and disoriented. What can you do while they're dizzy and disoriented? You can run, or you can attack, attack to give you more time to run. Yes. So if you're shorter than your attacker, like she is me, go limp, but not all the way limp, and then jump straight up into his jaw. 
You go back into him instead of trying to pull away. Back into him, down, and fucking jump up. It might ring your bell a little bit, but it'll fuck him up. Now, also, if you're here and I'm holding here, she's shorter than me. She can reach around and pound the fuck out of my eyes. If I have to hold her with two hands, I can't stop that. So go to punch me in the face. I have to bring another arm down, which does what? Where's your other hand, Alexis? What can you do with that? You can come up to my eyes, down to my groin. You can stomp me. You can do so many things here. Now, I want you to understand exactly how important it is that you know you're trying to hurt the bastard that's trying to hurt you. I can't stress this enough. You do not need to worry about causing them permanent damage because they're trying to cause you permanent damage or worse. So, from behind, I grab you. What's your first move? Drop. Drop. If we're the same height and I grab you, where do you go? Headbutt. Hard as hell. Throw your head forward, sling it back as hard as you can. Bam! Knock him out. My hat's gone. I found it. I hate my fuzzy hair. Put my hat back on. So, we have sling our head back. We have grab the testicles and yank. We have stomp the instep. Smash his foot. Break it if you can. If, by some chance, you get him down, I'll get down. You get him down and he's covering his shit, he's going to ball up. If he balls up, what do you have access to? Basically your stomach. My stomach? Where's my throat? Hidden. Is it hidden? You can't see it? I can see it a little. Where are my testicles? Between your legs hidden. Uh-huh. What about back here? Oh, I forgot about that part. You can totally smash them because testicles, they descend in and slide backwards, which means if I'm balled up, they're hanging out the backside. They're hanging out the back. They're a prime target for one really good BAM! Burst it. Bust it. Make him where his cock never gets hard again. And then run the fuck away. Any questions? Okay. Let's go over it again. Okay. From the front, where can you attack? Okay, and if you were to pick one, which is the favorite to make a man run away? Um, well, I would go for the groin because I'm short and it's easiest to get to. Okay, the groin, it's okay. But if you take out a man's eye, he ain't coming after you. It depends on if you can get Guys him. have gotten kicked in the balls before it happens. So if you kick me in my balls, you better do enough damage to stop me or else it's going to just piss me off. You have to be hard, firm, and going like you're actually trying to break them. No mercy. Okay? The throat you go for if you have the opportunity. If you have the opportunity, you take them. If a man pins you down, lay down. Like this is awkward. She's my daughter. Lay down. I'm pinning you down. I'm sitting on your legs so that you can't do shit. I'm going to block your legs. I'm going to do your hands. But if I do this, hell, I can't do shit to you. So I got to at least do something. And if I'm down here and I go to try to do anything, pull something down, both of your hands are free. Your legs are free. You can use your legs and sling me forward. Pull forward. <laughs> and when I... <laughs> well, that's what, this, that's what it's there for. Anyways, when you pull me forward, how about instead of laughing... You grab both of my eyes and press. Or you grab my throat and yank it. Or you just smash me in the fucking nose. If you break a man's nose, his eyes water. He can't see as well. There's a lot you can do. Those three targets are what you go for. In the front, you go for whatever you have access to and you hit it as hard as you can. 
But you're not going to be attacked from the front very often unless you're pinned down. In which case, you are in dire straits. Need to take that son bitch out quick and get the hell out of Dodge. From behind, you have more options. From behind, you have the groin, the foot, the head. You have the jump if you're shorter. You can sling your arms back if you're shorter. Throw your thumbs out and just try to hope you get to his eyes. A man ain't going to hold on to you if you start hurting him. He's going to let go. When he lets go, you either run like hell or you hurt him more and run like hell. At the end of the day, you're going to end up running like hell and hopefully you make it out alive. That's the end of this video.